Hey there, my name is Jer, and welcome back to my channel. Strainers are no joke. They can and will kill people on the river. And so when I found out on Wilson Creek that a log had fallen in and actually resulted in a really scary rescue situation a few weeks ago, I knew I had to go investigate. And this is what I found. Now, if you're not sure why strainers are such a big deal, let me explain real quick. A strainer is basically anything that allows water to go through, but not objects. So when a strainer is in the water and a person hits it, they'll get caught on it while the water will continue on through. And it's only a matter of time before they drown. If you're watching this from home, you might be thinking, well, why not just climb over it? And the harsh truth is that in any real flow, climbing over a strainer is just not humanly possible. According to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, water moving at a running speed exerts a force of approximately 302 pounds on the human body. So if you catch the strainer underneath the arms, that means your torso and lower body are all in the water. Without even accounting for gear, that's over 200 pounds of force keeping you pinned on this log. Here's actually an example of a training exercise in which the water is barely even moving and you can see how this individual still struggles to make it over. So why not go under it, you might say. And to that, I would say, good luck. It's impossible to know what is beneath the surface of the water. And the act of trying to go underneath a strainer necessitates that you stick your head underwater and then you can't breathe. So if you're traveling underneath the strainer and it's blocked, then you're dead. All of this assumes that you hit this strainer with your head above the surface of the water. If you were to hit this thing in a way where you can't breathe, then the rescue has mere minutes to get you out of there alive. If you hit a strainer, sometimes all you can do is just hang on and hope that your friends can come save you. And that's what happened to that poor soul that got caught on that log at Wilson Creek. I talked to some of the guys that got him out, which great job on them, by the way. And they told me that the swimmer said it felt like the water was rising, which is not true. He was just getting weaker. Now there are techniques to get over strainers, but those require the swimmer to be alert and oriented and trained not only to do the actual action, but to even see the strainer in the first place, which is extremely difficult when you're just crashing through white water. Yep. Now this particular log at Wilson Creek is in a really, really bad spot. It's river wide, so there's no going around it. It's barely visible from upstream, so you can't really even see it. And the worst part is that it's located just after Boat Buster and Thunder Hole, which are very, very common spots for people to swim. And so I gathered a crew of six, consisting of myself, Pete, Nate, James, David, and Kevin. Our mission, to save the world one log at a time. We picked a day where the water was down, as that would be the safest time to try and cut this log out. When we arrived at the scene, we came up with a plan. But it's kind of wedged over there, weird. Yeah, we just need to pull this way, I think. I think so too. We can get a, like something wrapped around this and maybe pull off in this direction. Yeah, it'll come. It's not going to be heavy. We can get it right, right here. here. We can pull it up for the same side. Can you pass this over to him? Yeah. Alright, ready?
Now, unfortunately, the initial plan did not work, and actually, all it did was wedge the log in even tighter. And so, on to plan B. Plan B was to chainsaw the log in place. We would tie an anchor to the bigger end, and once that was loose, swing it down over to the bank where we'd cut it into smaller chunks. You want to be on the other side of this at all? No. Okay. Go, go. Perfect. All right, sweet. Didn't want to go. We'll, we'll need guys over here, because I'm going to unclip this, and it's going to swing down, and we'll try to get it in right here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. All right, coming over you. Let it go a little bit. There we go. There we go. You're mine now! And so with that, the log is cut out into safer, smaller pieces, and Thunderhole is no longer a death trap. Ah! Yeah. Let's go. So we reaped our rewards, a beautiful negative 11 lap on Wilson. Water. So thank you all for watching, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time.